So welcome guys. In this class, we are going to look at how to cancel a request. For instance, as you are requesting for a driver and we've not found a driver yet, we want it to be in such a way that when we click on cancel, it will stop requesting for a driver. All right. So guys, without much ado, let's jump right into it. So currently we are inside of our request driver dialog fragment. The first thing we need to do will be to add a click event handler for our cancel request button. Okay. So I'm going to say cancel request button dot click. Right. So this is our event handler. Now the next thing we need to do will be to add an event that once we click it, it will inform our main activity to stop requesting for a new driver. Okay. So I'm going to create a new public event. Public event event handler. I'm going to call this cancel request okay so when i click on my cancel request button i want to invoke this event all right so to do this i'm going to say cancel request dot invoke before that we need to check for no then we invoke this the new event acts right so at this point our cancel request event has been invoked or has been triggered okay so now we're going to go to our main activity and finish up with this. So we're going to go to our click event handlers. So at this point where we initialize our request driver fragment, I'm also going to call the cancel request event. All right. So I'm going to say request driver fragment dot cancel request. So this is the new event handler we just created plus equal to cancel event. Boom. So this is the event handler for our cancel request. So when user clicks on that button, what do we want to do? So I'm going to say user. Of course, before we proceed and cancel our request, we need to do some checks. All right. So I'm going to see if request driver fragment is not equal to null and request listener is not equal to null. So I'm going to say request driver fragment or dismiss okay so we're going to dismiss that fragment i'm going to set it to null it should be request driver fragment equal to null so before we finish up with this we need to find a way to cancel our request on firebase all right so to do that i'm going to go to our create request event listener and create a new method that will cancel our listener all right so i'm going to go to the declaration here I'm going to add a new public method. I'm going to call it public void cancel request. All right. I'm going to say new trip ref dot remove listener. I'm going to pass it this. And finally, I'm going to say new trip ref dot remove value. Okay. Boom. Now let's go back to our main activity. So before we even dismiss our driver fragment, we need to first of all cancel our request on Firebase. So to do that, I'm going to say request listener dot cancel request. All right. And finally, we're going to say request listener equal to no. OK, so let's go ahead and run an app to test this in action. OK. So let's pull up our Firebase and see this in action as well, right? So I'm going to set my pickup location. And my destination. So let's go ahead and create our request. As you can see, our request was created on Firebase. So let's click on cancel and our request has been cancelled. So guys, we've successfully seen how to cancel our request. So see you in the next class.